Hi everyone, welcome to Karen's Corner. It's Creative Wednesday again and you know what? The past few weeks, past two weeks, I had hardly any time to create anything. I've been working in my Almost collecting journal a bit, but I just didn't have the time uh, to make something. And this one I showed you in my uh, Almost collecting journal and I said I was gonna do a flip through. So, uh, well, a few weeks earlier than planned, but I'm gonna do another flip through. And these booklets, these journals, I made a few years ago. <laughs> Actually, it was in September 2012. This was the first one. And this one is uh, October 2012. I wanted to make one of these journals every week, uh, every month, sorry. Uh, every week would have been ridiculous because I couldn't manage every month. I just made two of them and yeah, then I just didn't have the time anymore. By that time I had my stamping store and it was just way too busy. Anyways, but I made two and I love these two, so maybe one day I'm gonna finish it. Maybe in uh, November 2016, I'm gonna make another one, I don't know. But anyways, the first one um, has the color lilac. It says lila, that's Dutch. And um, the color has faded away a bit over here. This one has more lilac, but I don't know if you can see that on camera. This one is just made from cereal boxes. I took two pieces and cut it in this size, put some holes in there. And uh, I had some wrapping paper, some craft paper, actually more filling paper. Uh, it was in a box of, we got from Amazon. And I put lots and lots of white glue over here and then stuck it on and just started wrinkling it a bit. And it looked like that. Then I used this stress ink over this and uh, made it this color and some washi tape. And actually these were one of my first washi tapes because as I said, it was in 2012. <laughs> And I love these beads and I love the way uh, I made this. I like taking buttons and putting them on the covers and then you can wrap this around there and it's closed or opened. And this is just embroidery um, thread and I really like this. But this booklet made me see how difficult the color lilac is because this looks really lilac. And But when you put it over here it's more purple. <laughs> And inside there are polka dots. I really love polka dots and there's nothing on there, <laughs> just polka dots. And then I've got this, this is uh, fabric. And my sister had it laying around, she uses a lot of fabric. And I took it from her. I wanted to say borrowed it, but she's not getting it back. So I took it, I got it from her. And I put some buttons on there. And I really like that, but see the different colors. And I also put a little ribbon with cuteful, cuteful. <laughs> with beautiful cute flowers. And then I put this on there because it was lilac and I have no idea what you call this. I don't even know what you call that in Dutch. But it looks really pretty and that's what it's all about. So then I got this page and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna take all my lilac colors, ink and copics and pencils and, and just put it on here. So this is Stabilo pen, uh, glitter pen, copics, Derent pencils, memento marker, distress marker, acrylic paint, vivid ink, color box ink, brilliance ink and memento ink and they're all different. If you ask me what is lilac I'd say this. But look how different the colors are. But when I picked them out they seemed all lilac to me. So that was very funny to find out. And this page is on lilac paper and I love this stamp. Uh, I bought this in Las Vegas I think uh, when I was there uh, well years and years ago. And the quote says, what you believe in comes true. Believe in something absurd. I really like that. So I thought this was a beautiful page. And then this, guys. I really like sticky notes. Um, I collected them a while back because I really am a collector. I start all kinds of collections and then stop them again. But the Hello Kitty collection, that one stayed. When I picked these out, they all looked lilac to me. Again, it's such a difficult color. I wrote it down over here. Uh, it says they were all lilac, I thought, but then in Dutch. And uh, this one looks pink right now. And this looks pink. This one even looks a bit lavender or blue. So, yeah, really weird. But um, when I opened this book uh, a few weeks ago, I thought, wow, I've been making an Almas collecting journal uh, for a while now because I like doing things like this. This one is from Paint Chips. And I really love paint chips. I love just looking at them. The different shades of colors I really love. And uh, they're all the same but different. I, I, love, I love paint chips. I don't know how to explain it. I just love looking at them. Isn't it gorgeous? And this is a hero art stamp that I stamped on it. And that was enough. And then over here, oh, I really love Tinkerbell. 
it says I love Tinkerbell and uh, well uh, over here I say in Dutch even though it doesn't really fit the theme the background is a bit lilac so I thought it was very nice to put in here and then I got this envelope and I stamped some flowers on it and in it it says now you can learn your Dutch uh, let me try to translate um, it's hard to find a good color lilac there are so many different shades of lilac and sometimes you think something is lilac but then it turns out to be a totally different color if you put, uh, hold it against these uh, pages that I had these lilac pages sometimes they're pink sometimes they're purple sometimes they're blue so this is just a little letter explaining how hard this was this was the first color book I started and it was so hard <laughs> anyway this page I really love. Uh, this stamp is from the Stamp Smith and I use this as the logo for my stamping store. And uh, I asked them and they were thrilled that I wanted to use it. And it's been my stamp ever since. I love it really much. And I love this page. And here it says, art washes away from the soul the dust of everyday life. Isn't that great? And I wanted to put something over here, but I thought, no, I like it this way. Well, all kinds of purple. And this one uh, I made when I was uh, at my sister's with my mom and we are both her daughters and we were just coloring and making stuff and I colored these three stamps and I thought you know what I'm gonna make it a bit purple a bit lilac and put it in here and it's a really nice memory so that's nice and here again my Asian theme I really love these stamps I love this I love the bamboo and all kinds of purple actually this is more blue <laughs> And the last page is uh, a picture of Hello Kitty. And it didn't turn out that well. <laughs> but um, it says over here, I took some um, purple, some lilac items. This is a lilac Hello Kitty and a candle and a fish from wood. I don't know why. And this is a kitchen knife. <laughs> and I have no idea what that is. But it was all lilac. And then I took a picture and the printer got confused. <laughs> about the color and it turned out a bit more blue and purple to show you again what difficult difficult color it is so that's my lilac uh, book journal how many times have i said the word lilac anyways i really love this and then on to the orange one and this one i really really adore uh, this is really autumny i've even got an autumn leaf over here it's a uh, a bread I'm on the Dutch word is split pen I couldn't find the English word it's bread and I put it over there so this is the second one as you can see and um, I love the stamp of this dress and I stamped it on some uh, paper from a book and the words are upside down and I cut them out and just glued them on here I really I really like looking at this and then a bread over here too for which way does it go yeah over there. and this book is actually made out of uh, envelopes if you look you've seen this page before <laughs> if you look closely you can see that this is an envelope and I put this envelope in there um, I'm gonna make one of these uh, one day so I'll, I'll show you properly but then you've got this envelope over here and over here is the other side but you can't see that okay anyway I put this in here and I glued this together and I uh, took some Pickwick tea because it was um, orange and I glued it on here and stamped some tea thingies on there and over here I also stamped some tea things in orange and light and brown and orangey colors that just fit really well uh, I didn't want to because this was so hard getting the lilac color I thought you know what I'm gonna do colors that really fit well with orange and lots of orange of course so I really like this page it smells nice too this page again paint chips because I really like that and I took some paint chips and this says enjoy the moments that makes you smile and special moments are always remembered these are old hero art stamps and they're my favorites I like them with some nice ribbons looks great okay well this is a typical Dutch page because uh, as you might know uh, the Dutch flag is red white and blue but uh, our favorite color is orange because back then we had a queen and uh, her name is orange she's the queen of orange koningin van oranje uh, 
literally translated Queen of Orange. It's a bit weird, but every time there's a football or anything to do with Holland, everybody dresses in orange because then you know the Dutch are here. <laughs> so this is for Queen's Day. Of course, now he is our king, Willem Alexander. And um, so now we have King's Day. <laughs> and but then when it was Queen's Day, um, I had this picture. Everybody, lots of people dress up in orange just for the festivity of it. And of course, wooden clogs with orange, orange tulips. Uh, this is from uh, a site where you can see if it rains or not. And it was Queen's Day, and they made it uh, the Netherlands orange. It was very funny. So this is Queen Maxima. Uh, back then she was Princess Maxima and, and the kids. And then in here I've got all kinds of orange ribbons. And when you open it up... Oh, this one is letting go. Uh, some more orange pictures. <laughs> this is from football. I'm not really into football, but uh, European football, of course. And um, the Dutch flag and, well, just very Dutch feeling. So I had to put that in here because because of orange. Okay, the next one is just... I just wanted to make something pretty to look at, so I had these stamps from Inka Dinka Do, and um, I just made a little collage. I really like it. And this card says smile. And you know what? I have to smile when I watch it, when I look at it. <laughs> That's just a pretty page. I really like this page. And then this one. Oh, I really love this one. It's my Halloween page. Let me see if I can get this out. It's just a card I got, and I let me put it in. I stamped uh, all kinds of spider webs over here, and I bought a package of cute little Halloween pictures, and I love this one so much. I like the old drawings, so I just put it in here, and I think it looks really great. And that was my orange book, my orange journal. Okay, so these were my color journals, and I, as I said, I've only got two of them. But maybe I'm gonna make uh, another one. I thought this October um, orange was really great with that because of the autumny um, theme. And I think I'm gonna make some more of them when I have more time. And I'm also going to show you one day how to make such a little envelope journal. It's really simple. You just need some envelopes and it's really, really simple. But that's for another time. For now, this is it. I hope you liked the video, even though I'm not really creating anything. Uh, next time I'm gonna make a nice video. I'm going to make a little journal and I'm going to film uh, every day for just a little bit and show you. But that's for the next time. Um, for now, I hope you like this video and I hope you're inspired making maybe something uh, in a nice color. Let me know which one you like the best of these two. I just uh, ruined it a bit. Oh. <laughs> okay. And, um, okay, let me know in the comments down below uh, if you like this and which one you like best. And maybe you can make one of your own. Just let me know if you're going to do that. It would be really fun to know. And, well, that's it for now. Groetjes from Holland.